Hello, it's raining outside and I thought to myself, um, make a good video, a useful video. <laughs> so I will talk about um, Arabic dictionaries, um, dictionaries that we use for pre-modern texts. Um, well, many of us, many of uh, us who study um, uh, older texts are older texts that, uh, yeah, with the advent of Islam or a, lit a little before, just until the 19th century, let's say. Um, yeah, we use this one. This one volume, Hans Wehr. Uh, yeah, I hope you can see it. Uh, yeah, there he is, Hans Wehr, Arabisches Wörterbuch. I have the German edition. Um, yeah, which has been re-edited by Lorenz Kopfitsch, which is a very, well, better edition than the ones before. So the English ones that you probably use, because I'm talking English here, is um, not this one. So we are a bit, um, yeah, lucky in, in Germany, um, because we have that. But, well, it, it is useful for Quranic texts, it, is, it, is, uh, it integrates the Quranic vocabulary. <laughs> But it struggle, yeah, well, we struggle when we um, look up other things um, which uh, appear in pre-modern texts. So it's also a problem um, that it just enumerates the um, definitions of, um, yeah, of a uh, lemma, let's say, of a, of a word. Uh, so it has just, um, yeah, it just um, mentions the, uh, in, in one word, the meaning of uh, a certain uh, root or a form, uh, an Arabic form. And that's, yeah, that's quite difficult to, yeah, to identify the exact meaning of, of uh, the, the word that you see in a text. So, um, and it also lacks a lot of, uh, um, yeah, meanings that uh, are... Um, that we find in, in pre-modern texts and especially poetry and so on and so on. So, yeah, well, but it's still useful and we have it in one volume. In this video, um, yeah, I have to um, say that also. Um, I will just present the books that you can hold in your hand and, and uh, yeah, and put on your desk and so on. But, but many of the dictionaries that I mention now, except uh, this one, well, um, you can also find online. And also without copyright, because many of the dictionaries that I will um, present here um, are out of copyright. So you get them in, um, well, I can recommend archive.org, where you can find a lot of the dictionaries that I will talk about tonight. All right, um, Hans, where you, well, probably you'll find it in English, but it's not copyrighted. It's, yeah, it's, it's like a shady thing to recommend, but, well uh who searches will find um right so this is hans Wehr, and many students just use it because it's so useful it's one volume and okay um but when i give text to my students um actually <laughs> when they translate it's just funny what um results uh yeah it's it's not it's it's often it um doesn't really hit um yeah, the, the right um, translation that we, um, yeah, would need. Um, and you, you won't even find it in the there, so that's a problem. Okay, so everyone who can read German, they are lucky, because not only that they have the newer edition of the Hans Wehr, but because they have this big chunk of a uh, dictionary, another Wörterbuch der klassischen arabischen Sprache, edited by Manfred Ullmann, and that's a huge and by far the best um, dictionary that we have for uh, pre-modern Arabic literature. Um, yeah, especially, uh, well, all the phases of um, the... Um, uh, of Arabic literature, mm, not not the uh, uh, later phases, so um, you won't find enough evidence um, of newer texts here. Yeah, and I also uh, mention uh, the word evidence, and evidence is important because um, Ullmann and also Spitaler, who worked on this, um, they actually uh, include. Um, um, instances where uh, words um, 
appear in uh, texts. So um, this is what in German is called Belegwörterbuch. Huh? So we have pieces of evidence, we have examples that are taken out of um, real texts um, from that time. And that makes it so valuable. The bad thing about this Wörterbuch is <laughs> it has only the letters calf and lamb. Yeah. I'm sorry to say that because it's really one of the best thing and but nobody continues to work on that. So there is not enough money or not enough uh, yeah. Um um yeah, people who um would devote their time uh, to this. Uh there are probably specialists who can do this, but well, it it is discontinued. So this is very bad. But why does it start with calf anyway? So calf, it starts with calf because because uh, this body here, um, Lane, yeah, E W Lane, Edward something Lane, <laughs> um, yeah, he um, he um, also made a, a great dictionary. Actually, it is not a dictionary that is based on on these. Uh, um, evidences that um, are taken out of, of uh, text, but um, he actually uh, extracted all the old Arab um, lexicographers, um, all the old dictionaries like Taj al-Aruz and Lisan al-Arab. I will talk about them later. Um, yeah, so um, and, and he uh, translated it. So um, basically, uh, this is um, one of the best dictionaries to use in that way. It has a strange English because it was written in the 19th century, some, some, somewhere then. Um, 1863 and, and, and further on, so from 1863 down to 1893, no, sorry, 1885. But um, this uh, yeah, colleague of ours, uh, if I may, um, yeah, he, he, he died too early. So he couldn't complete the one, that one, and uh, he only um, lived uh, until the letter Kaf. So, so why does the Wörterbuch start with Kaf? Now you know it. Uh, so uh, this is just some kind of a continuation, a better one, a better continuation of of uh, Lane. So Lane um, is also multi-volume huge dictionary, very, very huge dictionary um, and also very useful where we still have to use it. If we don't want to go back to the um, Arabic originals, yeah, so basically uh, Lane distills all the old, not all, but many of the old dictionaries that um, we also use uh, or um, people who want to go into lexicography and want to also get into the way how lexicographers define and, and explain uh, words, um, yeah, should also do that, or should even rather do that, I don't know. Yeah, so, these are the two that I now have mentioned, and, well, they are not mine, huh? they are just too, <laughs> too heavy and too expensive, and, yeah, just not practical um, in that way, you know, to have them physically. But uh, what else do we have? What else are the dictionaries that I recommend and that I also use? In, uh, on a daily basis when I work with um, my texts. Um, in the last uh, few years it was um, Mamluk text, yeah, text from the Mamluk era, so yeah, 13th, or yeah, also the Ayyubid era, so 12th until 16th century, so more or less. Um, yeah, so what do we have? Um, a dictionary that is also very good, let's say, is um, this time um, um, a French one, uh, Dictionnaire Arabe Français de uh, Kazimirski. Kazimirski, vous voyez ça? Mm -hmm. Dictionnaire Arabe Français Kazimirski. Tom premier et Tom deuxième, seconde. Voilà. Bon. Voilà. Tom seconde. Hey, um, yeah, so you see, you have to know a little bit of French to do that, but still, it's 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 reading, and um, yeah. So, anyways, any um, any let's say um, Arabist who wants to 
really dive uh, deep into um, Arabic uh, and into old texts, um, they kind of have to, um, yeah, manage um, with, um, yeah, to read these um, also French, uh, because, yeah, some dictionaries are in French, not only this one. I will talk about another one a little bit later. So this is also very useful. And um, quite strong in some aspects, um, you will get some meanings that you won't get in um, in where in any case, but also um, yeah in in uh, other dictionaries that I want to talk about uh, with you a little bit later. So yeah, this is um, a dictionary that I also use a lot, and it's also very old. It's also 19th century something. Um, I don't know one. Uh, 1860. All right. So yeah, quite old. And this is just a reprint from uh, Librairie du Liban, the uh, the um, Lebanese um, uh, publisher, and they make a good. Uh, well, it's it's a good thing because you can get them quite um, cheaply. Um, yeah, and that's what I why I bought them when I um, was in in Damascus, and I had a lot of things, well, a lot of books to carry actually, around the whole whole Europe at least. So yeah, well. But the good thing is, I will talk about this later, this is also available online for nothing, nothing more than a click. You just download them and you have them on your computer, that's the best thing. So, because they are so old, um, yeah, there's practically no copyright. Ah, so, okay, um, what else? Um, what else do I have here? Oh, right, yeah, this is very important. It's also French. Faraid et Okay, so Faraid at Duria, pearls, yeah, um, yeah, they're very good actually. Um, this is pocket size, you see, it's pocket size. But uh, interestingly, uh, you find a lot of stuff here, and they're also funny, <laughs> uh, funny illustrations, as you see. Um, they're also, yeah, it's it's interesting because um, that's something you don't have in the in the other um, dictionaries, and it also covers a lot of stuff. Well, not the sexual, uh, uh, no innuendo and no like explicit stuff, you know, because um, these were Jesuits uh, who who uh, wrote this, and the Jesuits they kind of uh, avoided avoided to uh, include, um, yeah graphic stuff and um, as many of us know um, uh, in uh, the uh, poems and also in, in, in other texts like the um, Nights, the Arabian Arabian Nights, uh, well sex was just normal um, to not only to mention but to describe in detail <laughs> all right yeah any any anyone who who read uh, quite a bit of, of of those texts they know i know that can be quite frank mm -hmm. but yeah um below um that was the uh main no no yeah below i think yeah below is the uh the author of this uh, dictionary mm -hmm. As I said, a, a Jesuit, and then yeah, well, he doesn't he doesn't say. So if we, for example, I know I I, <laughs> I don't want to uh, look up a um, yeah an explicit word. So yeah, this is another uh, version of the same book. You see, I used it extensively. <laughs> That's how a book looks when you love it. All right. So um, yeah, Farah, uh, I love that one. I love that one because it's so um, because you can carry it uh, around. And it, it, although it's so um, concise, uh, you can still find a lot of, of, of words from, um, yeah, from old texts in there. That's, that's good. And there's also an English um, version of this, uh, made, written by Hawa, Hawa, yeah. Um, you will get all the books, all the details, um, uh, yeah the references let's say um in the description of this video so um yeah however um that's just an english version of below that i just showed you i don't have it here in uh yeah in, uh, as a physical book but um yeah so everybody who 
mm, rather prefers the English one can take it. It's also called Fara'at at durriya As I said, this is also um, available as a PDF and EPUB, whatever, on archive.org. So we will go to the online dictionaries to my other um, e position uh, a bit later. So we will also browse some of the online dictionaries that we have at our disposal. Sorry. <laughs> so that was the micro. I just have to uh, check it. So, right. Um, okay, what else? Uh, did, I, did I forget something? Yes, I forgot something. I really... Uh, I'm in awe. I love this guy. Um, <laughs> disrespectful, sorry. Uh, do, uh, Reinhard Dozi. We bon, donk. Uh, that's another big brother, another big chunk of a dictionary. Uh, yes, look at it. Um, Dozi. Um, fantastic work. Um, it's uh, because why it's so fantastic for me because um, I worked on um, yeah on Zajels from uh, the Mamluk times, and although this work um, is a preponderantly used for Islamic Spain and uh, um, well especially known for that um, it's also very useful for um, for many Mamluk um, yeah expressions and 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 words uh, well from Egypt so it's not only uh, Spain or uh, North Africa um, that you find here it's it's also um yeah many of the old texts um that are from from egypt or from the mamluk times um are uh yeah i was surprised how many you can find here that's that's great and and dozi he also made another um dictionary on uh clothes um Dictionnaire de vêtements. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I won't talk about um, those things here, uh, about these specialized dictionaries. There are some of them. Um, yeah, but just to mention that Tozi also uh, made one of those. So this one is uh, for pre-modern uh, literature. Um, it's kind of a treasure trove where you find um, stuff that you yeah, wouldn't expect. And also very, let's say, outspoken. So, although it's also a very old one, uh, it's also I don't know, uh, first time. Yeah, reproduction de l'édition originale de 1881. Okay, so 881. You see, it's all um, second half of the 19th century. All second half of the 19th century, that's why you will find these dictionaries um, everywhere. And you can use them um, on your computer. Why I'm, you probably ask yourself why I'm looking here, because all my dictionaries are lined up here. And I, um, I think I, I don't want to forget um, another dictionary. Okay, um, we have also Arabic uh, ones, which are compact. I will only show you the compact ones. I would, don't want to go into the pre-modern dictionaries that are huge. Uh, I don't even have them in my library because it's just too much. And we have better solutions for that. But when you want to use, if you want to use a um, um, good dictionary, also for pre-modern texts, um, which is also compact and not so bad, it's the Marjam al wasit just very shortly yeah that's the one more al wasit i like that but another let's say a faraid ad durriya um in in arabic and also larger and a, a dictionary uh, or an and it's like a mini mini encyclopedia munjit <laughs> Uh, um, it's also from uh, the Jesuits, uh, I think, and and it's it's very well made, and, and it's also yeah, um, sh let's say they are short um, definitions, but the definitions are um, in the in the way that also old um, Arabic dictionaries um, yeah ha had their entries. So the entries that you have here, they they kind of look uh, a bit like or they they use um, uh, similar vocabulary sometimes, and it's. The, from from the point of view of the uh, system, it's also interesting to read at least uh, one entry. So, um, if you look here, um, yeah. So you have um, right um, uh, red. The forms are, are are red when they have new forms. 
um, they put them in red, and it's also it's it's good. It's very well organized. Um, I love the Munjit, in fact, and it was also with my uh, former uh, teacher and professor uh, Monika Gronke that we first uh, read from the Munjit, and it was a great experience, I have to say. Yeah, mm, because they are short entries. I also recommend to anybody who uh, reads Arabic texts to also use an Arabic dictionary. Well, a short one like this, where it's, it's a bit big, but still, um, there are also shorter versions for that one. Um, to just see how they explain um, how the, it, this is done in Arabic. Um, Munjid, yeah, I love it. And they have also these, uh, well, here you also have photos, you know, like the Fuji here. I think, yeah, <laughs> Fuji. Fujiyama, okay. So, this, um, I have this also in a shorter version. This is, this is just the sh short version of the Munjid that I showed you. Yeah, so look at this. And yeah, I love it. So I actually, I've wrote into it and so on, and it, I carry it around everywhere. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to remake um, the cover. Yeah, so I covered it anew. All right. That one is a little baby. I don't use it that much uh, these days because it's all on the internet. It's all, um, yeah, at my fingertips. So that's a bit, uh, yeah. Now I'm getting, now I'm getting nostalgic. All right. So <clears throat> that was it. Um, we will continue with the online dictionaries and with um, with also the PDFs that you can download. Mm, and uh, yeah, and I think also that will be very uh, useful because we work a lot on the computer now and uh, yeah we don't have to carry around all these uh, volumes especially if we are mobile uh, and well researchers are mobile and yeah that's uh, why and we also work from uh, at home from from our homes and especially in these times uh, so it's useful to know everything to know all the online sources that um, are available there. So we see you from the new position. Oh, hey, I forgot something. Um, two things. Uh, one thing is, uh, well, Lane, he died at the end, more or less, uh, of the letter Qaf, but um, the dictionary was completed uh, from, yeah, from notes that he left and so on. But uh, it's not um, that good. Everything after Kaf is just yeah semi good. Uh, that's what I wanted to tell you. Then there is also a supplement um, which can be useful at times, but well, not often. So just to say that the lane is complete, but uh, he himself just worked until the letter Kaf. So another um, the the second thing that I forgot is a dictionary. Yeah, I looked around and I didn't see it, and it's also. Uh, kind of uh, natural, let's say, because it's um, yeah, not not very uh, recommendable. Mm, this one, ha, huh. Adolf. Ah, not that one. Uh, Adolf Warmund. Yeah, Adolf Warmund Handwörterbuch der Neu Arabischen und Deutschen Sprache. Yes, two volumes. And uh, yeah. It's, it, it is special uh, because there are, um, it's not organized um, in the way that uh, other uh, dictionaries of Arabic are organized. So it's not uh, root organized. So you, for example, if you have something like, uh, like uh, Mas'ala, for example. Yeah, so um, you won't find it under, under, under the... Um, um, letter uh, scene, you will find it under the letter meme, meme. So it, it's alphabetically ordered. So that's one thing. Um, that's one thing for, for people who start to learn Arabic. It, it can be, yeah, misleadingly easy uh, to, to just look up the word environment because environment also has a lot of stuff. Huh? It's, it's, it's quite useful sometimes. Um, and I also say, well, although um, people just um, don't uh, recommend uh, to use this one, um, I do. <laughs> I do just um, because sometimes you, you find um, a certain 
uh, way to translate. Yeah, it's also in German, I have to say, so that's a problem perhaps for somebody. But for people who work uh, in, in German and who translate into German, sometimes they find uh, yeah, a good translation, for example. Yeah. So you see Masala, for example, yeah, it's, it's under... Yeah, it's, it's all here. So it's also why um, why meme is so big as a uh, uh, as, as a part of this one <laughs> because we have so many uh, participants and so on, or yeah, words who indicate uh, an instrument or or a place. So um, yeah, people who know Arabic will understand me. Um, okay, yeah, Varmund. Uh, I, I'd say to my students, yeah, um, be careful, but use it. Because everyone uses it. Um, um, don't cite it. Um, yeah, perhaps even yeah. It, because because it is um, faulty, but it's it's a good source. It's still a good source. It's also uh, an old source that you can download anywhere uh, on the internet, and that I will also show in the second part.